what's going on people welcome back to the channel it's rocky mardan and i'm back with another excited video reggae video tutorial of course so if you are new to the channel do not forget to like and subscribe to the channel and click the bell icon turn on the post notification typically are pretty much reggae tempo start from about 70 go upward so just to make this pretty fair and simple if you don't have um like third party vst and you're using fl studio then you don't have to worry yourself the concept will remain the same i might do like with samples if i don't have or if you don't have you can use samples or you know these thing here on the channel rock just the same okay so let's dive right into this fl studio is easy all you need to do is just click these things here and you know the drum you have drum pattern or that sort but you know it can be that easy or you can just make it be very interesting okay dive right into this first make you just get a keyboard a piano something um just to be fair we're just gonna use stock vst i'm not gonna use any other vst outside of stock so i could just find the fu the fruity key where is it fl studio which is this thing here so let me just right click here and just insert the track here fl keys i'm going to play the track right here So we're gonna go ahead and add the, the keys and then the drum. All right, so I'm just gonna go ahead and just add the keys right here with a metronome of 80. Right, and then we have that we press that and we should see our um midi right here okay so now we have our midi information and as i said i like to keep things just just the way they are right in fl studio you press you highlight every single thing and you just go to quantize right go to edit and you will see quantize somewhere here where is it? Sure is that? File quantize snaps. Okay. Wait. Select. What? Do should be in edit. We can just press um com control or command Q whichever you use it. Cool. So you can just press command Q and they are quantized like that. We keep the velocity just the same. One thing I like to do, I like to come to the top here where the magnet is or the snap grid, the snap panel, change that from, put it to 116 just to, can move them free, right? Sometimes even shift them from the grid, just like that. And you get a off the grid type of thing. Right, just like that. One of the... One of them sound heavy. So this one, we can turn this one down. This is the only thing I like with this last thing. You know. can turn this down. Too low, too high. all right so now we have um the, the 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 keys going on we can add some drums i'm not familiar with fl studio um like default drums but i know that fl studio have you samples so you can just play around with the channel rock just the same like this so you can you can just add like the kick that i show you how 
so you can do the kicks like the one two kicks like so yeah. Right? And then you can do the same. So you can boom. Boom. And then what the, what I like to do, I like just go into the piano roll now and just highlight everything, command Q, um, and then I like to shift them. Um, in FL Studio, it, it is like because they have the ghost note, so you can you don't have none you do, do you do not have any excuse to say that you cannot do it. You know, in FL Studio, it's very very easy. You can just shift this manually like this. So you have you can just uh, move this manually as i said right set it to none as you can see you can move these manually right just like that same thing with the snare Add the hi hats. You can just um for the hi hats. You can just add. You can just fill. You can fill each step like this, right? And then go into the piano roll just to see them. And we're gonna layer these hi hats. Make them so nice. So every so first thing, make we just highlight everything. Just get the same size, right? Like about that. Then we're gonna shift them inline everything like with the piano bang just like that because we want everything to be like the piano all all the one that's on the piano bang like this they're gonna be higher than these one so these are gonna be about this length while these one is gonna are gonna remain the same so everything that's not on the the piano bang we're gonna make them lower than the rest we're gonna just put them at a random spot right so some is gonna be high some is gonna be like lower than like as in lower but they're gonna be like not like the level of the piano bangs if you understand the concept all right so everything on the piano bang we leave them the ones that are not on the piano bang we turn those down and leave them at random down up spot so it's gonna be like down this way right but not too low as you can see they are not at the same level right these ones now like these ones that on the piano bang right we can go ahead and raise the the volume higher make they be more aggressive here so you can hear you can have a a difference so maybe about that level so Right, and FL Studio can add more layers, right, like that. Right, just like that. Simple.
here. Mm. Cool. Then you have simple. more things to it if you want and you have you have your drum pattern in FL Studio using only sample and you have a nice simple drum pattern in FL Studio just using sample VST nothing so if you download FL Studio I don't have no fancy plugin you don't have any excuse because I just did it show you and it is um this is in FL Studio FL Studio is not even my da you can add more things if you want oh you have drum machine here okay i have drum machine here oh you have drum well, whatever we never know uh we just do what we have and you can add leads if you want them just use flex because me want to use flex anyway <laughs> all right let me just copy this is sound good copy and paste this here just give it I don't think anybody should have any excuse when it comes to making music because you have everything to you at your fingertips right here in, in every single door you can right because i always think that you know fl studio doesn't got or don't got anything but they have sounds they have nice sounds these sounds are nice I, these sounds are really good they they're they're like almost 2d like but they can pass the test if you use sense they can work of course. I don't think anyone should be make, making any excuse when it comes to these things. See if I can find if I see the bass more uh, and what boobies. Just need to tune this. I'm going to go ahead and go ahead and add, add a bass line. fix the bass line you can even mm -hmm. 
right? Just tweak up your bass line, add some some filling like this. And what you can do, you can just layer this. You can layer this like like so. Mm -mm. I like this. I just turn this all the way down to about that. And then we play this. Just tune it. Give, give it some more volume, right? And you have you have a nice, right? And play the keyboard. And you want to find a sound with, with a nice guitar sound to this. Sounds are not the best, you know, but them can work, bro. All right, so, so for example, maybe it's about the flex, and I'm just gonna go back to the same position and find the mute guitar. Let me just see, which is this. Fine excuse, but we don't have nothing. Guys, I'm so upset, but I'm gonna end the video right here. And just to say this one more time, 
Stop complaining about that. Stop complaining about plugins. Stop complaining about. Stop complaining. Just make music and stop complaining. You don't have no excuse. The this free, the die are free. Majority of the them free. You see what I'm saying? Get the die them and just make your rhythm. You get me? I can't make a dance all out of this if a dance all I worry about. I can't make trap beat if a trap beat I worry about. I can't make Afri- African beat. I can't make Spanish beat, Mexican beat, all type of music in a this for free. No money me no spend just a while ago. I'm here to make music. I'll, you guys are complaining.